So I'm going to find a parking space, which there are plenty of close parks, and we're going in. I'm excited, but I hope this is not a bus. Do you ever find something good, you love it, and then when you go back again, you're like, oh, it's whack. But I have a couple of rewards, so I'm going to walk out here with something. When you walk in, they have these bags, 75% off. It is a Harvest Hand Soap and a single wick candle. It'll be four dollars when you finish. I actually like the bag. The bag is really nice. They have these bins for 50% off. This is the wild honeysuckle. This goes along with the shower gel that was actually a part of our last Bath and Body Works giveaway. They also have the fine fragrance mist. Um, wow, this is a champagne toast. Uh, foam soap refill and 50% uh, off for that they have the stress relief aromatherapy 50% off the body uh, wash the sugar scrub some didn't look right with the sugar scrub um, the $2 table I think the fine fra fragrance mist is a minis is a good deal for two dollars but once you start uh, those little bottles of lotion, um, they do have some hand soap. To me, I rather, if I'm gonna spend $2 for a tiny thing of lotion, I could spend a dollar more and get a larger size. Um, they do have the foaming hand soaps, a lot of different variety. I don't prefer the uh, foam soaps. I like a gel soap, um, but they do have them um, again, several different varieties. They also have the $2 wallflowers. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to get this gingham, but, uh, the other ones, I'm just looking. They do have the $12 candles still. Um, I will say the supply has went down since I last was here. They do have my favorite summer boardwalk, but I think I'm going to pass. I have so many candles now that I haven't even burned yet. Again, still seeing the berry waffle cone, something that I just could not get into. Um, but here are the $12 candles. Um, I love this scent and body care, but I just can't get into the candle. Y'all know this is coming home with me, right? Yes. Here's more $3.50 bins. Um, a lot of the same things that I've seen before that was here the last time. But this is new, the Open Sky Moisturizing Body Wash. Um, I'm not sure if I've seen the body cream and the vanilla bean no Noel. Here's my scent, y'all. Here is my scent. Still no shower gel. Um, they do have this uh, pumpkin cupcake. It does smell good. And here is their display for the African American uh, line. Still dumpster diving. There was a lot of $3.50 bins. You really have to have patience. I know this doesn't belong there. 
but you have to really have patience to go through these bins you know here are the 75% off candles and this pumpkin cupcake does smell good I just have a lot of candles now um this one I've never seen before um they do have a single wick lavender vanilla and another three dollars and fifty cents table um I'm glad that they still have the brown sugar and fig um that lavender and sea salt does not smell bad um yeah I'll, this one right here the lavender and sea salt that does not smell bad um here's another 75 percent off table here's some cologne that i was looking for they do have some men's body care um also i wanted to smell this bonfire bash that's a part of the two dollar table and here's a lip gloss i wish that they had different ones besides seasonal ones they have more three dollars and fifty cent soaps and also body care items they have uh, some more three dollars and fifty cents aroma therapy items as well the bubble bath this is a stress relief conditioner and they also have the seven dollar um, body care items also with scents that I believe are retired. This is a two pack wallflower. And it's six dollars. Another variety of that soap. I'm just taking one last around one last lap around guys so they had the champagne toast and they had that black cherry merlot or something i don't think these are worth 50 percent off i'm actually tired of seeing them this hope candle is a three wick candle and it does smell nice again on my last lap around I really didn't get cider donut and they do have a older uh, version of the champagne toast seeing scents I never seen before they do have snowflakes and cashmere on the uh, $3.50 table again this is just the last lap around guys how are you doing i'm back with another bath and body works outlet walkthrough and haul so you should have already walk, watched the in-store walkthrough um not a lot has changed since i've been there i mean it's only been two weeks but some things have changed okay i've seen some new things that weren't there before and uh some things that were there are gone um let's just get into let's just get into it so I said the next time I went I was going to look for their lip glosses because I was able to get a lip gloss for 75% off online and I actually like it I feel that it keeps my lips moisturized it's long lasting really like it they didn't have any regular lip glosses but they did have the marshmallow pumpkin latte which I did buy um the lotion um I did buy the lotion in a mini and in a larger bottle. Um, I'm still using it. Actually, I have so many different kinds of lotions by my bed. I'm a lotion fanatic. I'm a lotion. Mr. Fuller calls uh, Bath and Body Works lotion land. I mean, he thinks that's all they sell. And what are you going again for more lotion? I love lotion. And I have this one. And I actually paid full price not thinking. At the time, my mother was in the hospital with COVID. And I was talking to the nurse on the phone. She, you know, I was able to get her on the phone while I happened to be in the store. And I didn't pay attention to those prices. Because trust me, for that little thing of lotion I got, it was $6 and something. And then that big thing, when she rang me up, it was $20-something for two. Y'all know I'm a deal diva, so y'all know my mind was gone. I was really, it was, that was a really rough uh, period. But anyway... I, I'm hoping this is, I, I'm just curious about it. I'm not going to open it yet, but I will let you guys know. 
How do I feel about pumpkin on my lips? I don't know. I, I like the smell of it, but I don't know about the lips, but whatever. Um, so I only got one. This was on the $2 table. Another thing I found on the $2 table, and this is the only wallflower I got, because I'm not 100% sold with the wallflowers. I find them to be a little bit weak, especially given this area is so small. I found a beautiful rug for Walmart for this area, okay? I told you I placed an online order if you watched uh, my last video. Anyway, um, I have to take the rug back. The rug is too long for this area, and it's just a runner. It's a beautiful abstract pink, white, and gray uh, abstract sort of style. I'll put a picture of it up there. Beautiful rug. Bargain price. I got it for 20 something dollars. It's too long for this area, and that's eight feet. So this area from my master bedroom door to the master bathroom isn't even eight feet long. And it's definitely not more than five feet wide, okay? How is it that the wallflowers are so weak? And I don't know. But this one seems like it might be a strong one. So this is Gangham. And I got for 75% off, I got the uh, moisturizing body wash, which I didn't use yet, but I did smell it and I like the scent. This is the only wallflower I bought from the outlet. I just picked up two more. Last time I was there, they had them. This is the Peach Bellini uh, hand sanitizers, 49 cents each. I picked them up. I'm a little bit annoyed with Bath & Body Works. Uh, yesterday, they had the hand sanitizers 50% off. So these are normally priced $1.97. So that made these $1.95. So that made them under a dollar, right? I placed my online order because I worked. I didn't have the energy to get up and go to the mall and I had to go back to work uh, last night. They took my order, took my money and canceled it saying that those items wasn't in stock. Now, I'm not saying people didn't go in there first thing yesterday morning and go crazy and buy a whole bunch, but I just was in there a couple of days ago and they had plenty of sanit hand sanitizers. I think they just didn't want to give it for the sale price. I don't know. That's my speculation. Um, so I missed out on that, but I have quite a few of these, but it's not a lot of product and these can go quickly, especially if you're using it often, you know, you go in the store, come out of a store. I bring these to work because the hand sanitizers there leaves a, a horrible film on my hand. I don't like it. Um, and it's very drying. So if you work full time, if you're in the stores and out and about and constantly, these don't last long at all. So, um, Anyway, I do have quite a few. I probably should have got two more. They did have some Christmas scented ones also. I think I seen a ginger cookie, sugar cookie or whatever. I seen that one. Um, I'm not worried about it. Okay, let's move on. Something that I have been trying to buy during SAS and every time I put it in my cart online, go to checkout, it's sold out. And I did see this in the store, but I wasn't thinking. This is the Clean Slate. By Bath and Body Works Men's Cologne. And if you watched my last Bath and Body Works video, you know I have the body cream and you know I have the shower gel. So this will be a great gift accompany, accompaniment to go along with what I have. Okay, y'all know what I'm talking about. So this was 75% off. The regular price was $39.50. So this was under $10. It was like $9.97. Now this isn't a big haul, but I still spent $40. Okay. Um Y'all know, y'all know, I know y'all sick of it. How much do you need, girl? How much do you need? I needed this one. This is my fave. And let me tell you something. This smells like a few other scents. And the the, the key combining uh, component or ingredient or, or what, I don't know how to say it, but it's strawberry, okay? So this is my Love Cotton Candy Champagne. Now, this is the body cream and I the the other one I have tons of the body lotion so I only had two of the body creams and a co-worker of mine she was able to haul six shower gels one of the respiratory therapists that I work with okay and she said uh to me because, you know, we were talking about inventory, right? Because she was saying she's taking a lot of her stuff back because she went crazy like me. Like, I have a lot of stuff, y'all. A lot. Uh, probably more than a year's worth. But anyway, um, 
so anyway, we, I was telling her that I wish I would have got more of this in the shower gel, but I have tons of the lotion and the body cream. She said, I'll trade you a shower gel for a body cream. So I only had two of these. The rest of the ones that I bought were all the uh, body lotions. So uh, we did a trade. I gave her a body cream and she gave me a shower gel. So, my, my, you know, add to my little stash. But to me, this smells very similar to strawberry pound cake. It's the champagne component that makes it different. Okay, again, just in case you didn't know, this is bubbly rosé, sweet strawberry, and pink sugar. To me, this is very similar to strawberry pound cake, which you guys know I love, and without the rosé in it, okay? So, yeah, so I got another one. So if she wants to trade me this one because they had tons of it at the outlet. Um, if I wanted to get more, and I still have one that I didn't even use yet, um... I'm willing to trade it for a shower gel. Um, yeah, another thing that I bought, and I had hauled eight of these the last time I went to the outlet. Y'all know I got my one I hauled already here. It's on deck. It's on deck. It's this Boardwalk Taffy, which is discontinued. Um, yeah, I love it. Sponge sugar, pink berries, whipped vanilla. I love cotton candy, guys. This is cotton candy heaven. And I did not get this for me, but I didn't want to give this person out of my stash. I know you have eight, Erica. How many do you need? But anyway, um, you know, she uses my lotion at work or whatever like that. So I'm going to give her this because she loves cotton candy for Christmas. I got her a bottle of cotton candy wine, which she absolutely loved. So I got this for her just because I didn't want to take it out of my stash. I know. Those bins are not for the weak at heart. You really have to take your time and go through those bins. I love them and I hate them, to be honest with you, because you really have to go through those bins. But if you are down for dumpster diving, girl, it may be worth your time. I got three of the strawberry pound cake body lotions. And people who have been rocking with Bath and Body Works, because I'm a newbie, I, like I said, I would only go one day after Christmas and if I bought two things, that was it, whatever. And I would keep it pushing and I wouldn't go back till the next year after Christmas. And that might not have been an every year thing. You know what I mean? It just wasn't a, I wrote them off. I told you the story already, but anyway, um, so this, we know they changed the packaging. All right. But a lot of people that have been rocking with Bath and Body Works said that they changed the formula. It's not the same. So this is the old stuff. So let me tell you something. When you pop this. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, I smell the whipped cream. I smell the strawberries. I smell the cake. This is just the bomb dot diggity calm. Okay. So these were in the 350 table. Um, and the bins, I found three. Trust me, if I would have found four or five, I would have bought all of them. I'm not going to lie to you. I would have. So this is shea butter, coconut oil, vitamin E, 24 hours of nourishing moisture, lightweight formula, absorbs quickly, skin feels noticeably softer after use. Strawberry pound cake. And you guys know I bought three of the, uh, strawberry pound cake shower gels from eBay. Yes, I broke down. Because at that time, the body care wasn't in the store and I wanted to try it. I still feel I got a good deal, but I'm sure they got the same deal I got and then just resold it. But there's nothing I can do. So now I have, plus I have the new packaging. I have the moisturizing body wash. I have the body cream and the fragrance mist. I picked up the fragrance mist on the 650 sale. And I'm pretty sure I use rewards for the other one. I paid full price for... um paid full price for the moisturizing body wash and I'm sure for the body cream I used a reward and they're having the sale again buy three get three free but I really don't need body care if it's not clearance prices I'm really not interested um something that I was glad they had another one of and I've seen other YouTube videos where they showed their outlet and they also had the body cream but this one just had this this is brown sugar and fig and I could not smell it because as you can see, it was sealed the first time I bought it. But um, when I got home, I was like, should have got another one. When in doubt, get two. But I seen a bottle that somebody peeled it open. I guess they wanted to know. They wanted to know before they go what it smelled like. So yeah, so now I have two of these. Again, so much stuff. <laughs> so much stuff. I have a lot. 
let, let me something that I've seen people also people like and that um, a lot of people were finding on the SAS sale. I did not find this, but I'd seen it for the outlet. So this is something new that they didn't have the last time I was there. And that is this moisturizing body wash with shea butter and cocoa butter open sky. Uh, the notes are um, fresh air. I don't know how you could package that. Uh, wild blackberries, soft violet, and a cloud of comforting vanilla. I'm going to tell you, smelt it in the store. I'm going to smell it again now because it can get overwhelming in the store. It smells good. I only bought one. This was on the 350 table. So I didn't pay. The, the most expensive item was the Clean Slate Cologne. Um, most of these items were 350 The Boardwalk Taffy was $2, okay? And then everything else, you know, was cheaper. 50, 49 cents for the uh, sanitizers. $2 for this. The lip gloss was $2. So this was on the 350 table. They did have, I think, two more. I only bought one because, again, in the store... I get overwhelmed with the scents. I do. I get overwhelmed. Strawberry pound cake was coming home with me because I already knew. And the boardwalk taffy, I said if they have any more, I was going to get one for a co-worker. So I knew about the other stuff. I have these already. But this, I just was trying to smell it. You know, you have a mask on. You're in the store. Then you just... But I actually like it. They didn't have anything else. I've seen people whole like the 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 mist um i don't know if i've seen the moisturizing body wash before but they did have body other body care items of open sky definitely i've seen a lot of people hauling the uh body cream the goal is to go to mebane and i almost was on the fence but i really left the house late today i left the house 2 30 and you know i got an hour drive and it gets dark it was pitch black coming home and i was home before 7 p.m and it was like darkness because they don't have lights on the parkway down here and, you know, little things like to run across the street and get hit, you know, deer and all this other stuff. So um, driving home is always 80 miles an hour, just praying, God, please. <laughs> um, so it was too late to go further because Medbane is, I think, a half hour further or even an hour further from this outlet. It's like two hours from me. So that would be like a weekend getaway. The next time we go to Raleigh or something like that, I would like to go see that store. I did ask the cashier, have you been to Medbane? She said, no. Um, I just was asking because, you know, sometimes people work at different locations because I, I want to know a customer, the one who stole my lotion the last time I was there, she told me this was the better store. So, you know, she gets around. So I guess she knows. But anyway, I do like this. I do like this. And do I kind of wish I got another one? Yeah. But another thing about this moisturizing body wash, I have it in the winter candy apple. I have it in the uh, strawberry pound cake. I don't think it suds as good as the shower gels. I think if I had a choice, shower gel versus this, I think I would go with the shower gel. Let me know what you guys think prefer in the comments do you like their moisturizing body washes or do you like the shower gels i just find that the shower gel it just it just suds up and lathers really good um better than this i don't know maybe because all the moisturizers this has in it if you look at you know all the moisturizers that it has i don't know but um 350 still happy i got it and yeah the outlet is a trip that i could make now your girl you know, ran out there two weeks later, couldn't wait to get out there. But is it somewhere that I feel that I have to go every two weeks? No. A once a month trip? Yeah, maybe just to see if new things like this pop up because this wasn't there. Um, this I never thought I would find, you know, and maybe next time I go, they'll have the shower gel. You know what I mean? They might have more body care for you. You, you just don't know what they're going to have. And I seen them opening up drawers and I said, girl, don't do it because I really wanted to go in the drawer because as I was leaving, she was opening the drawers, putting more stuff out. So that made me stop and watch, but it was nothing that I wanted, but I really want to see what's in the drawers because that's what they do. Once the shelves are empty, they pull out, open the drawers and put more stuff out. Okay. So your girl was very, very tempted, but I don't want to get kicked out and told not to come back. So um, I'm in a different state now. You know what I mean? I don't want no problems. And I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube with 
brawls going down in Bath and Body Works. So I don't want no problems. Okay, your girl, I don't want to go to jail. I'll stand up for myself. You know what I mean? But your girl don't want to go to jail. Okay, I got a nursing license. Yeah. I, I don't want to go to jail over as uh, Mr. Fuller calls. I don't want to go to jail over something that went down in lotion land. You know, I don't. But um, yes, yeah, so that's my haul. That's my haul from the outlets. And I hope you enjoyed the in-store. And I definitely will take you back again. Hopefully, I can get to the other one, Mebane. Um, because that's at the Tandra Outlets uh, close to Raleigh and see what's going on there. But definitely, this is definitely a once-a-month trip. Um, I, it's no real need. Uh, right now, the plus is I did hit up the Dollar Tree Plus, and that's a whole nother experience. Um, <laughs> that <clears throat> price increase, when I seen that receipt for the amount of items I had, y'all, and when she told me the total, I had to, I paid it, but I just looked at my receipt like, did she bring up something twice? This can't be right. Yeah, it was right. But anyway, um, that's a whole nother video. So that's what's coming up next. Thanks for rocking with your girl. Thanks for uh, tuning in. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.